Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our The Roman Empire in Europe Universal for Extended Timeline Mod. So we're trying to do the peaceful acquisition of land because that way we can just, you know, have no issues whatsoever with stability. Which seems to me like the better way to do things. Um, allows us to do more Diplo conversion. And lo and behold, we're 10 points shy of the cap. So, what are we doing on technology? We're way ahead of time on technology. Let's just do a bunch of culture conversion then. Welsh. Um, we keep on getting provinces that are being changed to Welsh, but... Uh, yeah, you know what, let's not, let's not do the Welsh, I'm just worried that it's going to automatically flip back to Welsh again. That's a lot of barbarians there, 160,000 troops were just engaged in combat. I guess I can see why they would, you know, feel like they're strong compared to us. I said I only have 155,000 myself, but... It's probably got a fair number of troops. A general gains the ear of the emperor. That's alright. Again. Just gonna keep on harming my legitimacy, huh? Really? Man, our characters are dying, like, left and right. Poor creation cost reduction. See, the thing about this one is that you can't really ever change it, so... Wow, Venus, manpower recovery speed plus 25%. That's crazy. Uh, we're going to do this one pretty much no matter what every time. They're dancing. They're dancing. Look at them dance. Dance, barbarians. <laughs> And he's friendly now. Not the same religious group. Roman military power, Roman economic base. That seems fine. He no longer desires my provinces. That's nice. I think he he did he just win his war. It's possible. to be so small and so weak to even be able to do it. But hey, you know what? I guess we'll go for it. This guy's, I mean, as, as large as our country is, like development-wise, I think we, yeah, 2,300 yet. You know, this, this guy's just not gonna want to do it. Maybe if we picked up more Diplo rep, we could maybe swing it. Or if they lose all of their army somehow, that might work too. In the meantime, I might just engage the uh, diplomatic policy here. And allow us to get uh, an extra couple relationships done. You are not going to be willing to do it. Albania could maybe do it. Still, that negative 100 some relations wants your provinces. You seriously, you want 341 more? You desire all of my Liam. Albania, you're nuts, alright? I guess I'm going to convert the, the Welsh after all. I don't know how those events are decided, like why they trigger or when, but... Does anything interesting happen at any point in the near future? Tribal monarchy becomes available? That's not something we can use. We don't get buildings for a long time. Um, We don't get Force March till level 60, we don't get that till level 69, we don't get an idea group till level 12. 
Well, we're at level 8 on these ones, so I mean, eventually we'll want to do that. We get 1% whole production efficiency if we... Alright, fine, let's start knocking that up, whatever. Start working on it. And we have slight positive unrest in a number of provinces. This guy actually has 50 development. That's quite a bit, actually. Okay, we'll uh, send you a gift. Can I get away with not doing this? I could use the legitimacy right now. I think I can get up to 190. Let's see, we've already done military access, we've given them a gift. I guess actually the only other thing I can do is subsidies right now. So that's, that's unfortunate. That seems fine. We still subsidizing you. Yeah, I'm not going to subsidize you anymore. I don't think that, that guy's actually ever going to be capable of being brought in. Alright. We got one. And then this guy down here, he was he was willing to accept too. Alright, this gun, I think we're, we are going to have to do a... Uh, what do you call? Royal marriage with him. We'll just do our standard thing, guarantee, uh, we'll send the gift. Jurist Zealots are getting a little bit upset, we'll convert something else next. We want to, we've already sent you a gift, we've already started subsidies, we will go ahead and do the alliance now. Hopefully he'll become friendly, I think we do need to do this one. Last thing we can do then is transfer trade power, as soon as he likes us more, but 65% is pretty good. Okay, all I need you to do is just stop wanting my provinces, which he should do once he stops being threatened. We can vassalize him. That's going to be another 23, another 50 development. It's actually like more land than we took from the Sarmatians, isn't it? A lot of the Sarmatian lands was pretty crap. Could you go ahead and let me know when you're not going to be, uh, you know, wanting my provinces? Free stability for 7,000 ducats. Yeah. If I had a button, I mean, it, it's a lot, but I would do it. We haven't had any issues with Rebellion for quite a while, so we'll go down to low maintenance. Do, 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 do. Still gonna be quite a while until we can do military attack.
Well, I'll just keep on checking on this thing periodically. We'll maintain a, a diplomat with him. As soon as we get back up to 100, we'll get our pop-up, and we'll maintain diplomats with you. Yeah, if you just stop being threatened or whatever, start becoming friendly or at least neutral. I don't know specifically when that's going to change, but, uh, you know, hopefully soon. Three hundred and thirty five provinces that you desire. I can't wait for the next patch. I'm really ex getting excited getting excited about it. I think it's gonna be so much better. Cause like there was a system I remember reading about in one of the developer diaries where you can declare provinces as something that you're interested in. And I think that maybe, hopefully, that'll replace this system where, you know, two province minor desires three hundred and thirty five provinces from me. Because it's just completely unreal unrealistic and unreasonable for them to want those, all this land. It's crazy. Oh, there we go. We switched. No longer desires my provinces. Great. Alright, vassal interaction. Cannot enforce religious group because they're not in the same religion. Sorry, cannot enforce religion because they're not in the same religious group. I don't think there's very many in our actual religious group, are there? Our religious group is just Zemalist, Nabat Nabatean, and uh, Hellenic. So, not very many. Five more years, we can already do that. So I went for the alliance with you. We have negative 44 reasons here. Alright, well I think that as soon as the uh, royal marriage is gone, we'll just break this one. And go for someone that we can just directly vassalize, which I don't know where that that person is, if they even exist. Someone down there was willing to accept an alliance. It was Axum. One hundred total development being a cap. That is very small. It's a very small cap. Hit the military point cap. Still not going to save up points. Hey, look at that. We're converting the Sarmatians. Nice. All their three little, three development provinces. We actually do have provincial unrest now. Okay, uh, let's see if we can figure out why. Let's go to Curia. All right, uh, the augurs preach. That's that seems to be the reason. Legitimacy could be a little bit higher. It's not going to come back up very quickly. So. Can we hold out for five years while we wait for the Augur's Breach to, to break? To go away? Or do we want to just enact that policy again? I think I'd rather just do that. 
It's just so much simpler. Granted, we'll have to have it on for 10 years now, which is kind of unfortunate, but... One of these days, I want to do another campaign as, like, Austria. Play with, like, all of the different ID groups that give you, um, diplomatic reputation. And just do one of those games where, like, it doesn't matter how high, how large they are, if they're not over the development cap, they'll just always accept. Like, regardless. That could be fun. I don't know, guys. I don't know, man. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't really see it getting harder. I, I'm pretty sure we figured this out. You know? Keep the Imperials in charge. This is basically a non-mechanic. Just click this button whenever these ones get too high. Um, that's it. You know? Seems to me like keeping the Roman Empire together is pretty easy. The only times that we've had issues with rebels recently, outside of the general's rebellion of like 200,000 men, because I didn't do this thing, um, was when I expanded. And then we had the, the ruler death, and we lost stability, and I didn't have monarch points. But if I hadn't expanded, if I just forced myself to have the admin points available, then I don't think there'd be any issue. So now we just, we just wait until we're close to the admin point cap, and then we expand. But beyond that, we don't. We just don't expand. We're big enough already. Tempted maybe to just try one of these things just to see how it goes. Sorry, I'm not looking around the map more. I'm just trying to let the game run as fast as it can. Which it seems to do better if you're not zooming around, it slows the game down. A little tiny bit. Sorry, if you, if you zoom around, it slows the game down. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna take a break here. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm not sure if we really need to continue this campaign very much longer. I know that we've barely spent that much time on it, but it's like, I don't know, it's just, it just seems pretty easy. Um, you know, just to at least m having an average understanding of how to maintain low uh, revolt risk makes it pretty simple. Um, I think I have a better than average understanding, but I think that the, even the average player could just say, oh, okay, keep up three stability, and um, obviously stability is going to be an issue when you've got a, a religion that has no bonuses to, no real bonuses to tolerance of the true faith. And no real to bonus is to um, tolerance of heathens is only at two percent, which which seems great, right? You're like, oh, tolerance of heathens plus two. But remember, tolerance of, of heathens is is general in general at negative five, so it barely it's still a negative even with the plus two. So it's just it's a very flimsy religion. It does not have a lot of stability. So. Oh, we're getting culture conversion done. Roman is spreading. Uh, let's go ahead and actually fire you in hopes that we pick up level 3. There we go. We need that extra point. 
All right. Yeah, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.